Hi, this is a Pi Simple GUI tips video. I generally make these as reference for my future self, but if you found your way here, welcome to the channel, and I hope you find something interesting. Uh, today is a continuation of my last video where we were talking about filling tables with like inputs from a form. And uh, today we're going to talk about how to edit the rows of the table and even delete them. Uh, so let's get to the code, and we're going to start with the code that we ended with on the last video where we just uh, where had these inputs, and we were able to add a row to our table and everything. Um, but uh, what I want to talk to you about today is, um, let's say, go ahead and put some data in here, five and text. And we'll add a row. So you can see I put the five and the text and the, my color choice down here. But uh, it also has a, a value for my table. And what that is actually returning is a list of selected rows. You can actually select a row on here uh, to do this. So we're actually just going to exit out of this and you'll see that uh, because we got nothing in the boxes there, they'll be empty, but uh, our my table will have information here. So you can see my table has a reference. Is a, it's a list of selected rows. You can select more than one. So it said that row zero was selected. So that's how that works. Um, so let's go ahead and get on to the new and improved code. So um, I guess we can bring that up and push it off to the side. And you can see it's very similar to what we had before, but we've added three new buttons to it. Um, so it's an edit row, a delete row, and uh, there's a, a disabled button called save edits. So that only after you hit the edit row button, then that will be available to us. So that's something that we got going on. So let's go up here to the top. So like I said, we had the add row before. Now we got to edit row, save edit, and delete row, as well as the exit and the other button. That's the only changes we made there, but then we have to add code to react to those button presses. So everything between these two bars here is new code. The rest of it is exactly from the last one. So we'll start with the edit row button. So if the event is the edit row button push, then first thing you're going to do is to check to see that there was actually a uh, selected row if there was no selected row, it's just going to tell you that, pop up and tell you that and continue on, not do this part of the code. But if you actually selected a row, um, like I said, the row is a list of selected because you can select multiple. But uh, we're only, <clears throat> I didn't, uh, only allowing for the very first entry in here, which is the uh, index zero element of that list. So it's going to be, if you only press one, that's going to be the one that you get. Um, and then you're going to just have a pop-up saying, letting you know that you are in the edit mode. And then what it's going to do is this uh, loop will populate these three boxes here with what are the same information that was in the, uh, in the row that you had. And then to, we're also going to uh, update the disabled to false. This way, this button will come be available to us. So that's all that we do. That's all that happens when you hit the edit row button. It just populates this and then uh, turns this uh, uh, button to make it available. Um, so then if you were working through this, you would probably make changes to one of these 
one or more of these items here and then you'll eventually hit this save exit save edit button so if you hit the save edit button what it does is the edit row that you were editing uh, in the list of list table data um, you're going to fill it you're going to fill that row item with these list values so it's going to update that row of your list of lists and then you got to update the table as well and then this for loop here just loops through to clear the boxes so that they're blank again and then again you're going to disable the true so the save exit save edit button is going to go grayed out again so that's all that does and that that'll when you update this the list will be updated with your new values we'll show that working and then we have the delete row button so the delete row button works pretty much the same thing you're going to check to make sure that there was actually a row selected and uh, if the row is selected if there's if there's at least one row selected it's going to do the very first row again it just row zero it's assuming that we're just selecting one row and that's it, it's going to be whichever the top most row in the list is going to be the one that gets uh, uh, taken care of gets deleted so uh, this is a different type of pop-up it, it has two buttons okay and cancel and what it's going to do is when you run this and you're going to click one of the buttons and it's going to return either okay or cancel um, so if it returns okay then we're going to do this if you hit cancel it's not going to do this so all we're doing is the regular list uh, uh, manipulation things python list manipulation called delete a row so we're going to delete td and this is actually the row that we're deleting and it corresponds to whatever the row that we had selected on uh, my table and then of course you got to update the values of the table itself again and display them so that's basically all it all the code does so we can go ahead and do this we're going to uh, put number put a string stuff and we're going to pick a color i'm going to add a row we'll put another number 22 other stuff And we'll pick blue this time. And then we add another row. <clears throat> you say, oh, I messed that row up. I want to edit it. So let's see. You're going to highlight it. So you can highlight it. Looks like you can only highlight one row. Probably if you hold control, you might be able to do both. Yeah. But we only want to highlight one row at a time. So, uh, so let's say that this is the one that we need to edit. And so we're going to highlight it and hit edit row and pop up edit the selected row just to let you know you're in edit mode and it populated these three items into these three boxes and now we can change it say oh i i meant that to be green so we're going to do that and you see that the save edit button is no longer uh, disabled so we can click on that now and should do what we need to change only thing we changed was the color so it should just change the color on that one and it did everything else is good so if we don't select a row and we hit edit it's going to bring up no rows selected okay so that's how that works the editing a row and then the delete the row so let's do the no row selected here thing so delete row no row selected Okay, 
But if we do select a row, say, oh, I really didn't want that first row, we're going to hit delete row, and it's going to bring up a thing. Cannot undo delete continue question mark. Hit cancel. Let's do that. Cancel. Then nothing actually happened. But if we hit that and we say, okay, it's actually going to delete the selected row. And it's gone. Okay, well, that's my video for today. I hope uh, this helps uh, complete how to use tables in an input uh, form to do that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.